Samsung is cranking up the heat on Google and Apple. The company has launched its newest flagship smartphone, the Galaxy S4. Weighing in at 4.6 ounces, the high-end smartphone has a 5-inch HD screen, a dual-camera recording system, and new navigation features. And it comes with a new tool some are calling creepy, others are calling innovative. The S4 will let users check their mail, search the web, and more, all without lifting a finger. The smart scroll, as it's called, relies on facial recognition to scroll or pause based on where the user is looking. Tepid reviews from the techies at Gizmodo who experimented with the scrolling gadget, saying more often than not, it was a frustrating mess. Apple's iPhone dominates smartphone use in the U.S., while Samsung smartphones lead the market worldwide. Could the S4 give Apple a run for its money? Not if you talk to Apple, whose executive Phil Schiller went on the offense, telling the Wall Street Journal Androids are nothing more than cheap knockoffs. Android is often given as a free replacement for a feature phone, and the experience isn't as good as an iPhone. But the S4 gets a positive review from an analyst at Recon Analytics, who told USA Today, We have a new king of the smartphones. The Galaxy S4 is topping every other phone with its impressive hardware and new customized software features. Can the phone live up to the hype? Though it does have a considerable number of new features, it looks nearly identical to its predecessor. This has a writer at CNET asking if the tech world will question Samsung's ability to innovate. The impression that Samsung's innovation train is slowing down may represent the first crack that could widen with subsequent generations of Galaxy S phones. People may buy the Galaxy S4 but may not come back for the S5 or S6. No word yet from Samsung on the price of its new phone. The Galaxy S4 is set to hit the shelves at the end of April. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.